thank you, city, for giving us um, a small kitchen in a big space. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second house in my Sims 4 mini series, A Typical Dutch Treat. So here we are at house number two, and like I said, a lot of people have benches in their front yard, <laughs> which they never use. I don't know why they're there, but it looks nice and cozy and <laughs> I mean the places where people do use them are the places that you don't want to live usually <laughs> it's true um anyway these people uh, like plants but they don't like gardening so they they have these planters with uh, with some nice plants in there they have a tree but it, it grows in a planter as well and then they have uh, tiles again like the like the next uh, like the other neighbor they like white stuff a little bit more, so or, or light stuff, so they have a lot of white furniture and um, white tiles and everything. And this is the IKEA family. By the way, you may have noticed that there's no basement um, in, in any of these houses, and that's because in the Netherlands we usually don't have a basement. That's just not a thing that we do. <laughs> um, so again, a wardrobe thingy. Um, but they just, just did it a slightly bit different, and then like there's a place for the mail there. And uh, if I can turn my camera correctly, uh, they actually have a, um, um, oh yeah, they also had a, had a dog, but I envisioned a very small dog. So actually there's, there's like cat furniture in there, but it's, <laughs> or like a cat bed, but it's for a small dog. So um, they have a, a thing for their dog here <laughs> to, to hang their, um, um, uh, their leash and everything. And uh, they have a table with stuff on it. So they made a little bit more out of their uh, <laughs> um, out of their hallway, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, let's see this from above. So it's kind of the same as the last one, but it's just a, a different mirror, a different rug, and a different lamp. And they also put a bin there, which the others didn't have, I think. Why? You should have a bin in your toilet. <laughs> um, and then we go inside. And again, let's start with the kitchen. So yeah, IKEA family. These people have a uh, nice cupboard over here, because, like I said, um, yeah, they just have a straight kitchen. That's it. Like it's super small. <laughs> it, we we could easily fit uh, a corner kitchen here, but we just didn't get it. So thank you, city, for giving us um, a small kitchen in a big space. Um, <laughs> But yes, uh, same stove. They also had an oven here. Most people actually buy an oven. You don't have to, but like the space is there and it doesn't make sense to not have an oven. So uh, these people also have a dishwasher because they just want to. They also have kids, so maybe that's why. <laughs> um, oh yeah, so the fridge is something that doesn't come with the house. So we actually have to bring our own fridge. So that's why the fridge um, in every house is different. And then look at this perfect white Ikea house. <laughs> Ikea kind of, you know. Um, Actually, I, I kind of like it. It looks so bright and nice and I don't know. Um, I, I just I can just smell the wood when I <laughs> when I'm here. Uh, this is their their dining area over here. They have a bookshelf over here. Um, one of the people in the family uh, plays guitar apparently and they have their chair over here and then uh, their accent color is green. <laughs> so uh, yes, yeah, very fresh. I like it a lot. Um, this is their little dog bed over here. It could easily be a cat if you want to download this house and you want it to be a cat. It can easily be a cat. <laughs> um, and this is how it looks from the sitting area. And yeah, I'm very much liking this house. It's so nice and open and, and bright. I love the brightness in this house. Uh, again, no gardening, just some planters with plants. Uh, they do have a giant barbecue though. <laughs> They love their barbecues. And like I said, these people hide their um, their bin <laughs> behind a wall because they're like, I don't, I have this pretty garden. I don't, I don't want to look at this ugliness. Let's hide it behind a wall. <laughs> so they built a wall. And this is what a lot of people do in the Netherlands. They have these loungy sets and usually they're like these L-shaped L shaped sets, um, which we don't have, sadly, in the Sims. So I try to mimic it with this. Uh, they have a lounge chair and then they have two benches over here and like a really nice luxury wooden table and everything and a, and a big planter so and, and, and also a big planter here so um, I like that a lot and also they use their shed for storage basically like the others and apparently old books <laughs> yes um, uh, 
also this light over here. Like all the lights that are attached to the house, we have to um, buy them ourselves. It is only this light over here that we get from the city. Um, but the other things outside we have to buy ourselves. So that's why they are all different and uh, fit the style of the person that lives here. Um, but yeah, let's go upstairs. By the way, before we go upstairs, the one thing that's missing, what, what I at least have in my house, is a area where I, like a pantry basically which is its own room it's very small it's underneath the staircase and i couldn't place it here and i guess that's because i didn't make my staircase l-shaped <laughs> if i had done that then it would have probably worked that's why my hallways in the um over here are a little bit bigger than they actually are because this part should be pantry <laughs> like underneath the staircase but yeah uh, i kind of messed it up <laughs> but just assume that that's usually there as well let's go upstairs and we're upstairs by the way what i didn't tell you is that all the um houses are exactly the same but mirrored so <laughs> that's why everything in this house is on the other side as the um as from the first house so we'll start in the master bedroom again uh again very light the same style as um as, as uh, um, in the, at the first floor. They also have a television here. People love their televisions in their bedrooms. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's just nice, I guess. Um, very, very Ikea over here. Like this screams Ikea to me. I'm so excited, by the way, in university that we get so much more Ikea stuff. Um, also these bedside tables, like it's literally, this is all from Ikea. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of accurate. Uh, there's also an Ikea lamp over here even and, uh, and some painting. Well, just the one, I think. Um, and I have these very neutral um, curtains over here. I think the curtains like this are very popular. And usually they, they are ready-made and you just have to shorten them and make sure that they fit your house. And yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, here we go. To... Well, I forgot what is which room. <laughs> Let's go to this room. I actually think this is the baby room. Yes, it is. Because um, in my story, in my head, these people are expecting a baby. Um, so they already made a room for the baby. The baby is not there yet, though. That's why the house is still so clean and pretty and white. But <laughs> that will change soon. Um, they are like very pretentious parents. Um, they never had a kid before and they're like, we need to have everything, you know. So like they, they already have toys, which <laughs> the baby cannot even play with yet. Um, this is like books to read to the baby. Like they have this... Um, this thing to measure the size of the baby, like, you know, they're very serious about it. Um, I love this unicorn so much. <laughs> um, I mean, even though it's a rental house, we, we can totally decide what we want on our walls. As long as if you move out of your house, you will put it back to white. Or if the other people want it, you can leave it there. Like the people who come after you, if they, if they like it, then you can leave it. Same goes for the floor. If they like the floor, you can leave it there and they will take it for a small price or if they don't like it you have to take all the floorboards out <laughs> how nice right um i made a baby changing table these are actually um stools <laughs> i don't know from which pack anymore uh could i see they are the chair box to men. i have no clue from which pack but yeah um uh, I, I sunk them into this uh, this cupboard to make a changing table because I think it's weird that we don't have a changing table. Um, uh, I don't think even in parenthood there's a changing table, right? I don't have parenthood, so maybe there is, but I, I don't think there is. And uh, like there's these shelves and they have all these toys already. And uh, yeah, <laughs> they even have a potty already, which they don't need for quite a while. But <laughs> it's there. Um, outside in the hallway, there is this... Uh, place for towels and everything and let's go to the bathroom which is quite similar to the other uh, like in the in types of walls and um and floors but as you can see there is just a shower i will zoom out a little bit and show you from above there is just a shower there's nothing else did they not put a cur oh i did put a curtain in but it's white <laughs> um yeah so it's um it's a shower and it's very boring and, and this is even a shower uh like cabinet <laughs> No, that's weird. How do you call this? Like, you can close it. There's a door, you know? There's shower walls and a shower door. Um, we don't get that. If you if you get a shower in your rental house, it's usually just the shower piece that's over here. And that's it. And there's a, there's 
like it, it, it yeah that's it <laughs> we, we usually put a curtain up or something like a shower curtain you know that's it but the only shower curtains in this game came with a bath which i definitely did not want <laughs> these people did not bother with a cabinet they just have their um their sink over here and uh well the toilet is just the same as the other uh they've also put in some art and then there's this other room which i didn't show you yet but that is their office and i i had in mind that at least one of these people lives from home maybe um so that's why there's lots of uh, like files over here and and over here as well and uh, I guess all of these could be files as well, <laughs> instead of books. So I don't know what they do, but um, I wanted to show you this. Because I don't know if this is a thing that people in other countries do as well. But we like to have a guest room in everywhere we live. Like, it doesn't matter if guests ever sleep there. <laughs> Maybe if just, like, once in your lifetime or <laughs> once every year a guest comes. But we need to have a bed for this person. Um, they cannot sleep on the couch or an inflatable bed. No, we have to have a bed for them. And I always thought that was a little bit weird. I should have put that to the wall, actually. I will, might do that later, but... <laughs> um, I always thought that was a little bit weird. Like, why would we... Why? <laughs> um, if if no guests come, like, if, if it's only every one, once every three years, why would you have a bed for them? But we do. So, <laughs> there's that. Um, I also have one, by the way, but I have one that's that's also convertible into a couch. So, yeah, that feels different to me. But <laughs> this bed is just so weird. Like, you, you, you work in your office, but there's also a bed. It just doesn't feel right. Anyway, that is uh, house number two. If you'd like to see house number three, follow the link in my description below. And there you can also find the other houses of the series. Each of them has a very own style and story, and they all show a different way of living in the Netherlands, so it's definitely worth checking out. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like and follow me for more Sims content, and let me know in the comments what you thought of this house. See you in my next video, have a lovely amazing day, and stay twinkly!